My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Good thing he's not overreacting or anything. Well, he's the boss. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. for days, but it's always dark outside. The editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Hey, wait. Why don't you see your Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Everybody calm down. Put that down. Bert, I need help. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Well, things are unraveling. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of the Hartman's goons, she had it coming. Stuff. I had to get to Hartman's Save office. He had taken all my manuscript my pages. That's I'm where he could keep me. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The party is, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent, he's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation What would you say to him if he'd listen? I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. It's some stranger who resembles you, looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much, and now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. Do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to shreds! Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else, I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. 
but he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up, but when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine.
the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Thank you. 
get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Crazy, but that's fine, Barry. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Al, I. No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! <laughs> lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's like a sheer wall! Ah! Al! There's something moving down here! Barry, it's a taken! Use a flare, Barry! Oh, yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh?
Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead. Don't worry about it. I'm on. Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. to destroy them to get through. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon.
trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Anybody here? Ah! Barry. Ah! Ah! No, Danny, you're not. Ah! Please. Ah! Oh, oh, what are you? What are you? Ah! I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again. For the moonshine, you know? It makes you see. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy, Danny. I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. Her, her best friend suddenly 
bad guy. Oh, 